Larry! Different team, different tournament. But back in 2021, as the Honduran men's squad came to Toronto for a World Cup qualifying match, they reportedly spotted a drone flying overhead during their training and suspected Canada of spying. The response from Canada's then coach aired on Honduran media. A lot of people in Canada that fly drones, I'm sure. And uh, when a big team like Honduras turn up, I'm sure people are probably interested in what they're doing. Now, Canada Soccer says an independent external review will look into the drone incidents in France, plus what it calls its historical culture of competitive ethics. Canada soccer is a little bit of a laughing stock right now in the global community of soccer. Of how could this happen and was this necessary? Federal Sport Minister Carla Qualtro says the actions of those involved do not reflect Canada's values. Fans online said they were disgusted, calling the fiasco not a good look. And what an embarrassment. It now maybe raises uh, some, some questions over, well, did Canada do anything like this uh, in winning those medals? Remember, winning gold in Japan capped off a string of three Summer Olympics where Canada's women's team made the podium. Head coach Bev Priestman led them to the top then. Many wonder about her future now. Did she know about this? And unfortunately, if she did, I, I feel like she maybe she should be sent home. In recent years, Canada soccer has found itself at the center of multiple controversies surrounding leadership, pay equity and broadcast rights. This latest fiasco comes as the National Federation has been trying to turn a corner and leave the drama behind. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.